Brandon, uh, overtime has been, it could be an adventure for you sometimes. Yeah. Uh, we saw it in L.A., uh, saw it against St. Louis the other day, but here tonight it looks like you make somewhat of a mistake. I mean, they're getting by you, but you go back and you make that huge defensive play. How satisfying does it feel to you that you're able to go back, make that play, and your team comes down and scores? I mean, it's huge. You know, you want to leave it out there for your teammates and uh, plays happen. That's the game of hockey. But for me, it's uh, bouncing puck, kind of going the other way. Um, just hustled back. Luckily, got a stick on it, and then Munmer made a great play to the middle there. So uh, that's the game of hockey. You know, it's it's fun. It's overtime. It's open, uh, but it's nice to be on the winning side for sure. Speaking of open, do you, do you ever look up in overtime and go, "My goodness, there's a lot of space out here." Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's actually pretty nice to see. You know, you go through the game, and uh, so many teams are tight checking. So getting overtime is definitely a lot of fun. You did have a goal in the first period of this game too, and I just it so happened that I was just talking about you knowing John Gibson, being from the same place, playing against him, and Ryan Murray gives you a pretty pass that you were able to one time buy him. Just tell me a little bit about that play and you know what you were expecting on that play. Well, it was just a great play. You know, we had it in zone, and uh, Jack made a good play to the middle. I just tried to get him the puck, and uh, he, he sold the shot, went wide to Murray, and I just found open ice in the slot there. So it was a great passing play and a wide open net for myself. Brandon, thank you very much. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you.